Hello everybody, what is up, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. And in the last episode, um, I was still working on my building, of course. And I was just talking about what's been going on. As per usual, I always find Minecraft to be that kind of a game. The kind of game where you just chill and talk. Um, of course, I've also been playing Tears of the Kingdom. Unfortunately, just before I stopped, uh, I showed duplicated a bunch of items because they just updated it, and now it seems like the duplication doesn't work anymore. Sad. The item duplication glitch doesn't work anymore. Oh, so sad. I really gotta figure out how to get back to an older version of it, but I don't want to do anything that would possibly ruin my other games or like you know like I was trying to look it up and it seemed like there was some kind of a program you're supposed to use to do it but it's like really complicated so uh, yeah it's like called game dev or something game dev something um, but basically uh, it's like some kind of external program on your computer and you're supposed to like do something with your SD card take it out and put it into the computer which I don't think I have an SD card slot I mean I, there is a thing on my computer that says SD and it looks like a slot but it's like a large slot so I don't know I don't know but even if I did that, there was like a bunch of other steps I didn't even get into reading because it seemed like it was like way too complicated. Or not reading, I was like watching a video. But then there was like, when I was looking up, there was like two videos that popped up in my search. One was saying, um, uh, it doesn't work anymore or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. There's gotta be a way though. Speedrunners do it all the time. They reset their, uh, they they put their games back to like older versions in order to speedrun them. And I don't know how they do it. <clears throat> how they are able to do that, unless it's like using that kind of system, that kind of program. I mean, so I I don't know. I'm sure that if I had enough time and enough research, I could eventually figure it out, but I don't. Alright. Just keep working on this. It's seriously already nighttime? No way. How? Did I not sleep? Pretty sure I slept. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I slept and then just went straight back to work. Unless, I don't know. I have no clue what happened there. Maybe I just was ending the video. Maybe that was what it was. Anyways. Hmm. Ugh. <sighs> I have been tired out though from working on Tears of the Kingdom and now that that item duplication glitch doesn't work anymore it's going to make the game <coughs> a little bit more hard because item duplication really helped. I feel stupid though. I I don't know why. I just like closed out the game after getting past like uh, the cutscene. Um, after meeting the uh, Gerudo, the Gerudo's next sage or whatever. Uh, ah, what was her name? I was just playing it, Riju or whatever. She's from the first game too. I don't know why I can't remember her name. <laughs> But in the first game, she was, like, young. She was, like, a lot younger. Uh, great. But in this game, she has definitely matured a bit. 
Just like Pura, Pura has returned, yeah, I should say returned back to an older, her older self. In Breath of the Wild, she's like a little kid because of an experiment she did in terms of age regression. But then in Tears of the Kingdom, she undoes it so that she becomes older again. <laughs> so, uh, I don't want to say anything, but Breath of the Wild seems to have, like, waifu'd a bunch of the uh, female characters from the previous games. Of course, Paya was always uh, waifu material, but yet, <laughs> but yet now she's even more waifu material with her giant headdress. T I'm joking, but yeah, um, Riju has gotten bigger and older and more uh, bodacious, and then um, so too has Pura. Oh, no. Yeah, my my way out of here. I don't know why I have like a lot of junk in my throat right now. So I keep like swallowing a bunch and stuff like that. I hope it's not being picked up in the recording because it kind of sounds gross. Eh. Anyways, I'm going to have to fix this hole. This entire hole here. Because that's an issue. If I got back the wooden block that I lost. Anyways, yeah, so basically as soon as I got done with the cutscene where I first meet her and help her a little bit out with her uh, lightning bolt training, I basically just saved and closed out the game and now e it automatically updated and pff, I jumped back on right away to check to see if it was working or not. And, of course, it wasn't. Eh, what a shame. Oh, well. I suppose that's just the way it goes. The reason why I did this like this originally is because I wanted to like sort of incorporate it and make it seem more naturalistic. Uh, yeah. Whoops, no! I'm so sorry, flowers. I did not mean to do that. Put that back there. Alright, so. Is there, is it just me or is there no music playing right now? Yeah, I don't really hear any music. Ah, shoot. I don't know why there's no music playing. Or at least I don't hear any right now. I'm sure it's just like the last episode I was recording where I said that. And it just happened to not be playing at the time. It's probably because I'm just busy working on this. What have I started here? No, I can't keep doing this. It's not how I'm supposed to do it. I'm supposed to do it one at a time. Not like this. <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't actually need it to go out all the way like this. Now. Oh, I'm going to have to move this torch, though. To, like, right there. Alright, and boom, boom, and you are no longer a necessity. Alright, get out of here. Alright, well there is still some kind of going into the dirt, that's not too bad looking. Alright, um, next, it's going to be like right around here. Alright, let's just continue working up. Anyways, so I've been working... Like, a lot on Tears of the Kingdom, if you couldn't tell. I mean, it's been, like, almost all I've been playing. Darn it, I keep losing them. It's almost been all I've been playing lately. I mean, could you blame me? It's, new, it's the new Zelda game. <laughs> it's 
And there's a lot, dude. I mean, there, there's a lot. There's a lot to that game. There's enough to keep you preoccupied for, like, definitely a long time. Unfortunately, with my niece playing along with me, she kind of makes it take even longer because she doesn't always, uh, darn. She, she doesn't always uh, want to actually do what is supposed to be done, being done in the game. And so, it's basically up to me to make any kind of, like, plot progr- uh, bleh, I can't even talk right there. Plot progression or story advancement or anything like that. Darn, though! And she was telling me just before she went up to bed to make sure to duplicate everything as much as I could before closing the game out and I just uh, I feel bad now I'm a terrible person but at the same time you know what it really doesn't matter uh oh don't even think about it uh, I'm scared they can't get up there at least I don't think phew Alright. Get up, get up, and get out. Yeah, get out. Uh, they're scaring me. There's the fast little baby one. But even if they get out, if I just go up here, they can't get up to me. Haha. -ha. Take that, stupid zombies. Although I'm starting to get hungry. So that means I'm going to have to... Uh, eventually find some more food source. Well, there are these rabbits around, but they're kind of hard to kill. And I forget if they even give you anything. Plus, my axe is going to break here soon. All this construction work has used up all my resources, all my tools. So I'm probably going to have to go for another mining adventure here soon. I don't know why I'm talking like this all of a sudden. Uh, I'm already really tired tonight. It's it's basically uh, 11. And I have not had the chance to really record anything, hardly. So I'm going to have to do a huge recording session tonight. And so I'm doing this in one more episode of Minecraft. Darn it. I'm doing this in one more episode of Minecraft, and then I was going to move on to an uh, episode of Hollow Knight. However, the thing is, I got I got to do some more research. I got to look up uh, where grubs are and stuff like that, um, which is perfect because I was going to try and text my niece. If she's still awake, gosh darn it, I mean my other night niece, not my younger niece. Oh my gosh, I still feel bad about the whole Breath of the Wild thing. Maybe I just wasn't performing the glitch right, though. Sometimes it's hard to perform. Yeah, let me see if I can... Oh, come on, bunnies. I just need your meat. Darn. Well, let's see if I can harvest wheat. Yay, I did harvest one wheat. A wheat. Oh, good. That didn't turn the ground back. What the heck? Oh, it was the bees. Um, here. I need the seeds. Good. See, now we have more seeds than when we started. And great. Now we're going to have even more wheat. And from those seeds I made, I might as well go in here and go to bed. From those seeds, or from that wheat, I mean, can now make bread. Just one loaf. And one loaf restores all three hearts. Oh, gosh darn it, there's still a tiny little nibble out of that one heart. Let me go to bed, and I'll stand still until my health regenerates. We. Okay, so, yeah. That's a shame if the Breath of the Wild item duplication glitch. I thought there was another way to duplicate items, though. I might have to test that out. I never got to test out the other glitches, though. I should have been faster before they patched it. Oh, shoot. 
because I slept, I ate up some of my hunger. Oh, I don't want, I can't use the golden apple. For some reason, I can't eat the glistering melon. Is there something in here to eat? Besides rotten flesh, which I don't want to have to rely on. Oh, hey, there we go. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Uh huh. Alright, kill the sheep and get the mutton. We'll cook that. That'll be our food. Only two muttons. No food. I'm joking. <laughs> Anyways, I might as well take this opportunity to get out sticks and make some more. Oh, shoot. Is that really? No way. I thought I had more iron than that. Where's all my iron? Can I make a copper pickaxe? I don't think so. Uh, shoot. Looks like I'm gonna have to make stone pickaxes then. I mean, uh, axes, not pickaxes. I don't need a pickaxe. What am I saying? Alright, let's put stuff up. I didn't need those irons. I need more iron. Like I said, I need to go mining. I know, I ignored the food. Oh, man. Why are you here, wandering traveler? Okay. Yeah, for all night, I'm just basically go going around trying to get all the, uh, um, ah, darn, I'm trying to go around getting all the pale ores so that I can, um, just basically have my nail fully upgraded before I fight the Hollow Knight. And then afterwards, I'll take on the Hollow Knight. And then after that, um, I don't know if I want to keep going or not I could technically I mean there's still uh, dang it I always drop some there's technically stuff still left to do oh, I didn't put those sticks up my bad yeah, there's there's still technically stuff to do I mean a lot of stuff I mean there's still the rest of the grubs there's all the mask shards there's all the uh, vessel fragments to find there's all the charms to find there's it's yeah there's quite a bit left quite a bit left so and and I'm not even getting into the more deep stuff there's all the dream bosses there's uh, the really guy why are you coming in here where'd that where'd that go Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's all the dream bosses. There's all the, uh, um, there's the stuff with the Grim Troop you gotta do. Um, there's, of course, the final Coliseum thing. There's, oh, God, there's so much stuff. And then, don't even get me started on God Home. That's what I'm still working on on my far file. So, yeah. Um, hmm. I'm going to wait until it gets dark and then go back and get my food. Even though that's going to eat into my hunger a little bit. Speaking of hunger, I need to drink. It's that had nothing to do with hunger. I don't know why I said that. I did notice my niece is online. So I'm definitely going to have to text her after this episode or something like that. I don't know. Sometimes she like, whoops, dang it. I ve, great. Sometimes she she'll like just like, uh, be on for a little bit and then jump off though. So, I don't know. 
Hmm, I was debating whether or not to do just one episode or two before I texted her. I guess I'll just do this one episode and then text her. And then I'll start doing the second episode. So if I get a text, I shouldn't be alerted. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to go back down in again, get my plank that I dropped. I gotta light this place up more and I gotta secure it more once I'm done building everything. Mm hmm. Do, do, do. Now I hear the music. Alright. Back to work. Um, now I'm starting to get to the point where if I drop blocks, they're going to start dropping on top of this ledge. Which I don't really have any easy way of getting to. I might just stop once it gets to nighttime and I have to go back and eat my food. <laughs> I don't have to make every episode 30 minutes long. But the longer I make the episodes, the more progress I can make, so... <laughs> Ooh. It lagged for a second there. Anyways. Oh, I dropped one. Shoot, there's no easy way of getting it back, like I said. Like, if I go into there, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get back out, and then I might have to take damage. Did I just drop another one? Hmm. Whatever. I'll get it on the last one. Ah, no! I don't want to use up my good golden axe. And that's another one. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to fall in there. Um, the only thing with that is the last one is going to be the highest one up, so eh, it's not going to be too high up. But then I'm going to have to get down from the other spot. <laughs> uh, nah, you know what? I'm just going to go down and inside and try and see if I can get up to it. Ouch. See, I really got to build, like, staircases to get to it. But, oh, yeah, then I'm hitting the ceiling. Okay. Let's just make a platform, then. A platform, and then... There we go. Alright. And got them back. I only wasted like... Um... One, two, three... Four... Five... Six... Seven, eight, nine, ten... Eleven, twelve... Twelve... About twelve or so. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I think I counted that wrong. Duh! That was horrible counting. It's not even nighttime yet. Yeah, it's not even nighttime. Yeah. I said I would go back when it gets to nighttime, so... Ah, might as well leave that little platform structure for now, for the time being, in case I need to get back to it. Alright, let's keep working. I'm almost done. I always say that, though. <laughs> Ah, we're back to the almost done phase. Yay! Um, hopefully, even if they're, uh, they patched the item duplication glitch for Breath of the Wild, where you just, you know, jump in the air and then hold items and then press the cancel and drop buttons at the same time, uh, to duplicate them. Um, I'm pretty sure they patched that because it wasn't working for me, but, uh, um, what am I trying to say here? There, hopefully there should be another way to do it. Like I said, there was another way to duplicate items, but it was weird. 
it was it was something that involved using items in the menu in the inventory but it would consume one it was essentially like taking one item to the right and to the right of the item you wanted to duplicate and then essentially converting it into another one so it was more like transmutation I think that's what they called it they called it item transmutation anyways it's dark now so I'm gonna go back and I'm scared It's called item transmutation. Uh, give me my cooked mutton, which gives me a teensy bit of experience, and let me get my health back. And then I'm going to go sleep. I always feel like there's something like watching me or following me in this game. I don't know why. Alright, let's sleep and then let's call it for this episode. Next time on Minecraft, I will hopefully finish that structure. So, see you guys then. Bye.